And I think I owe the, de the crowd a dad joke from somewhere, some back, so. Here's one for you all. What is the slime boss's favorite kind of ice cream? Banana split. Banana centennial puzzle. That's a pretty good starting relic. Card draw, but a little bit conditional, but very, very powerful. Definitely a, a bit of an underrated relic, I tend to think. As that bonus draw can do all sorts of good stuff. Hmm. I like this path. There's also maybe red path potential here. Don't know what I would need to be able to do this. Some good potions, maybe a, a fire potion and a vulnerable potion or something. With the red path being uh, the option that we can take if we get really, really strong. I've very much been liking marking my map in this way. Uh, planning out my sort of intended easier path that fights maybe a little bit less elites, um, gets more upgrades or something, and a path that branches at some point along there where I'm allowed to reevaluate my strength and choose either left or right. This has been really, really, really working out for me lately. Um, and I, I think we've, we've seen a lot of success stories because of it. A great example was that previous Ironclad rod. We marked out a red path in Act 1. I, I kind of say, I don't know what it'll take to do this, and then we immediately find exactly what it will take to do that, and it works out beautifully. Um, although, I will note that if I'm going to start here, I probably want to do it this way. That way, if we get a massive gold event, I can immediately cash out, although I would probably just go to this shop either way. Still, I like the option to go to the shop. It's just better than starting here, right? More choices. Strike them each once. We want to remove as much health as possible from them. Pretty impossible to kill them in a single turn on A20. Stinky lice. All right, Centennial Puzzle, do your thing. Logan the Bard, thank you so much for the 18 months, year and a half. Hmm. Hmm. I do think Masterful Stab is a very good early game card for Silent. It's also quite good against the Slime Boss, who does large amounts of damage infrequently. Instead of small amounts of damage frequently, which is what Masterful Stab really hates. Biggest problem with Masterful Stab is it becomes almost useless in the heart fight. But it's very good as a first card because the Silent is exceedingly likely to either draw it on turn one or draw enough block cards to not take any damage on turn one. Thanks to that Ring of the Snake. I guess we'll pick it up and see how it plays here. Transform a card, sure. Let's turn one of our strikes into something new. Transforms are generally very positive if you're transforming on average, very positive. If you're transforming a starter card, note that there's a very high chance to get a rare card from a transform because a transform chooses a card by simply rolling for all of the different cards with even odds. Um, and so the chance of each rarity is based on how large that card rarity takes up of the card pool. So it's about a 25% chance for a common, 50% chance for an uncommon, 25% for a rare. It's not quite true, it varies by class. But the uncommon pool is the largest for each character, with commons being the smallest usually, and then rares being a little bit larger. So you're quite likely to get a un an uncommon or rare card when you transform. Like that. Now we have a grand finale. Things are getting interesting here. Grand Finale can only be played if there are no cards in the draw pile, but we'll do 50 damage to all enemies if we can play it. Kicker is, getting exactly zero cards in the draw pile, very difficult. You must 
in order to make Grand Finale work, usually combine it with variable sources of card draw. Oof, this turn one, by the way. So, cards that can draw differing numbers of cards. So, for example, having a backflip and an acrobatics gives me a card that can draw two and a card that can draw three. That way you can uh, get the numbers to line up. But you can also get the numbers to line up with Centennial Puzzle sometimes. That way you can play the grand finale! Beautiful. I might be in heaven. Do you see this? Three different card draw cards. And the one I'm currently eyeing the most is the Expertise. That's because Expertise is a variable card draw card. It is a card that draws an amount of cards that can change depending on the number of cards currently in our hand. A number that we can control by playing or discarding cards. That's pretty hype. So if I need this to be a draw one, I can make it be a draw one. If I need it to be a draw two, I can make it be a draw two. Yes. And it even upgrades to draw one more always, which is quite nice. Acro is definitely more broadly useful here. But in terms of making the grand finale work right now, it's gotta be expertise. I think we're gonna be taking the green path and trying to lean into making this finale land as consistently as we can. Okay, so we drew Finale in the opening hand, huh? I think that just means I want to draw with expertise normal like. Oh, two here. Okay. Take one. We won't always use the grand finale. We'd, we'd like to have a set of cards that can win um, regardless of whether or not the finale works in most fights, but then gradually works towards getting the finale to work in every fight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Incredible. More absolutely ridiculous draw manipulation. Really eyeing the calculated gamble in particular. But uh, backflips, no, no nonsense here either. I'm gonna grab the gamble, and we're definitely not gonna go red path. This is asking for disaster in an elite fight. Um, if if we, the finale just decides to troll us, we will perish. So we must avoid elites until we're a little bit more consistent with uh, what we can get to happen here. I absolutely adore this prepared, allowing me to discard a card from my hand so that expertise can draw another card. I also adore card removal here. Trip is pretty tempting too, and if I could go card removal plus trip, I might consider it. But I'm thinking card remove plus prepared, and we're just gonna try to lean into playing this grand finale as much as possible as the entire strategy of this run. We've gotten an exceedingly lucky start when it comes to making that possible. We don't even have to fight any elites this act. Ooh, yeah. Um, I think I should remove a defend? We need to make sure we can actually kill stuff if I don't get the finale to work still. Honestly, Mad Math Magician, I'm starting to think with the direction this deck is headed so far that this may be the sort of finale deck that doesn't need to retain cards because it's able to finale instantly. Every time. I think the Expertise upgrade is actually the best one at the moment. Making sure we just get one more card in hand whenever we play it, helping to get those early finales off. Upgraded finale is yes, plus 10 for 60 damage. Currently the finale will kill just about anything. 
So there's no need to upgrade it just yet. you have seven. So important thing to keep in mind with finale, uh, sorry, with expertise is that it counts the cards you have in hand after playing the expertise. So af expertise in this case would be draw two because we currently have six cards in hand. If I play expertise, we have five. We must draw two more to get to seven. So if I play one card and then expertise, we get to finale on turn one. On floor seven. I feel kind of bad for buying the prepared now that I'm being offered another one. Maybe I just take one more. But I don't know that I necessarily want another unupgraded one. Predator could actually be pretty good. Predator is card draw. Although it's not instant card draw, that isn't necessarily wrong. And it helps me in the short term as a kind of a backup finale measure. If I want to take these two elites on, uh, picking and upgrading Predator is, is really good here. But skipping and not fighting the elites, I think, is also potentially a reasonable choice. Hmm. That's a tough call. This is the sort of deck that is really, 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 really benefited by being smaller. Probably more so than Relic's help. And yet... Money is a very powerful thing, too. The money we get from those elites really reasonably buys for another card removal. Although we also get these events, huh? How do I feel against Slime Boss? If I don't take Predator. I think we'll be fine? Maybe. Be pretty iffy, actually. That's a very difficult decision point. I think I'm more likely to get a, a really good working finale deck going this way, taking these three events, getting a couple of upgrades. Uh, upgrading the calculated gamble and the prepared for the slime boss fight. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to avoid elites. Heal two per fight. Vaguely helpful. Helps us get past Slime Boss by healing us right now, so I should probably take it. This is an absolutely no. We do not want to take curses. We want to take card removals. That's still not a removal. Uh, I should probably upgrade the finale itself. Be prepared first, then finale. Removal. That's pretty good, actually. Boat thingy gives us free block on turn two. One of my favorite turns to get free block on. You'd love to see it. Currently, this draws three. Grand Finale. Attack Potion, very helpful for Slime Boss. Sneaky Strike could be a really good card in this deck, actually. Given how much discard we have access to. But it's irrelevant if we can make the Finale play. We should just keep skipping cards. We go with both Damage Potions. 
probably use the poison potion turn one against the slime boss, but we'll see here what the exact draw looks like. I would call that suboptimal. Yeah. Let's just loop around, I guess. So 12 cards in discard pile. Um, how do I want this to go? My play expertise now will draw five, leaving eight in the draw pile. Much rather leave seven. Or no, that's leaving eight. Hmm. Okay. Uh, just keep spinning. Seems fine to me. Okay, big slime crush will be next turn. We'll probably use the attack potion to try to prevent it. We've been able to use Masterful Stab to dish out at least enough damage to get pretty close here. We're going to want to make a priority out of using... Oh. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna say, well, we want to make a priority of playing the slimes. By expertise right now, we draw three, and it'll be six in the discard draw pile. There's no way to draw them all, so what I need to do is calculated gamble into finale, if that's gonna happen. I think it's better to play expertise sooner rather than later. Because I want to minimize the chance that I draw Finale with the Expertise. Perfect. Gamble for six cards. Grand Finale. Is it actually correct to just play two slimed? Or one slimed and a strike? I'll go one slimed and a strike. Make them have very little health. Plenty of health, so I'm not that strongly motivated to use the attack potion at this moment, considering the very good position we're in. Let's just take five for now. I'm allowed to gamble here if I want to. I don't think I want to at the moment. I just want to lure both of their healths. Or, well, meant that actually. You know what? Now let's gamble. Probably fine. or use the attack version. Actually, it's only eight that I have to take, right? Take eight? I'll take eight. No, oh, actually, five. Even better. Almost. Ah! Okay. Kind of a flailing finish, but we got there and kept the potion. I definitely think if we were going to add a card to this deck to help us survive while we finale over and over again, Wraith Worm would be a pretty good defensive complement here. In particular, allowing us to put the Centennial Puzzle to really good use by just taking one damage while we're intangible. It's perfect. Like, it's, it's a one-card defensive solution, and that enables us to just keep removing everything else and skipping everything else. It's perfect.
Perfect. Absolute perfect. Yeah, worst bullet time ever, unfortunately. Could it be? <laughs> draw one more card per turn, you say. But that does lose us draw on turn one, unfortunately. An oddly good busted crown. But if I was going to take energy, I would take the Philosopher's Stone. All enemies will gain one additional strength. If we're blocking with Wraith Form, this is completely irrelevant. But we do still want to be looking at card rewards, because we want to take Acrobatics and Backflip and a few other things. Reflex. We definitely want to take Reflex. And so taking the Busted Crown really dramatically lowers our chance of getting stronger through additional card rewards. I really don't like it very much here. Well laid plans would also currently be pretty good. Though I'm hoping again this deck ends up in a doesn't need well laid plans sort of place. I think I'll go with the additional energy here of the Philosopher's Stone. Being able to play a few more cards per turn means we can get a bit more draw out of the expertise. Means we can play the Wraith Form and block a little bit if we want to. These are all good reasons to have it. We'd like to upgrade before we fight an elite, if we're gonna fight an elite this act. I would like to fight, uh, not upgrade. Yeah, upgrade, upgrade Wraith Form in particular. Yes, unfortunately. Hmm. Actually, what if we do this? Now that we have the Wraith Form, I actually feel quite confident against the elites of the acts. And we can get a second card removal at the shop here if and only if we're able to tackle these three elites, which is currently a little in the air. Do I ever go this way? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I looking at here? No, 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 no. No, bad, wrong. This way. Upgrade Wraithworm before the Elite, then fight three Elites. And still get the early shop and one event. We also get a little bit more money for the shop, which is somewhat appreciated. But mostly I'm just looking to remove card after card after card. And anything else at the store is uh, a bit of a waste of money, I think. That does, of course, lock us into fighting the Burning Elite, which is a little spooky. But is it really? Uh oh. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> They're here! <laughs> Kaka! Absolutely punished. Or are we? That's my question. Or are we? Exactly 18, 6. Hmm. Didn't get my number of cards down correct. Should have played one more card first, I think. Can't knock any of them out of the air now, either. Hmm. Choices were made. I'll get 14 block next turn, though. Let's just block for the moment. A hard pool fight that's four birds? I would be deeply terrified. That sounds nightmarish. Positively nightmarish. I like that it glowed for a moment there. So there's no point even trying. Draw at most six, and then there's no other draw effects that aren't calculated gamble. Let's go around again. Try to knock this one out of the air this turn, I think. Seven block would take very little. 
Uh, if I gamble now, we draw... Five. Thirteen in the discard pile. Draw five. It would be nine. I would draw eight. And I would not be able to finale again unless I got expertise. I could use expertise to play finale. Okay. Very convoluted player. So until I have seven, so I need to draw until we have exactly seven. So we'll do 30 tall. So I just need this to be draw one, which means I need to play it when I have seven cards in hand, which is now. Fakaw! Okay, that was uh, hectic, but as you can see, we faced Philostone Birds and we took, what, three damage? That's pretty cool. These are all a trap. Draws two, then this draws two. Fakaw! Yeah, I'll take a backflip. That we do want. Long line of hooded figures offer me a ritual dagger, which sure does a lot less damage than a grand finale now, doesn't it? At least for now it does. Could do more in the long run, but. Just give me the money that I can then use to buy card removals. When the intro is also the finale. Count on grand finale. Looks like we'll be taking a little bit of a hit here, unless I decide to potion. Let's color this potion. Get a little bit more block, that's it. It's a sad colorless potion. Good try though. Six in the draw pile. Eight. Seven. Six. Perfect. Ha! Get destroyed. Distraction plus, that's just a distraction for this deck. No thanks. All right, I feel like we're really on track to keep going this way, especially with another card removal here at the shop. Oh, but what about Bag of Preparation drawing us two more cards on turn one? That's also pretty good. But it does come at the price of one card removal. And one card removal is essentially one draw per deck cycle. I think we actually value the removals more than we value the bag of prep, and that's a weird thing to say. This deck is all about cycle time, the number of draws it takes to redraw and replay the grand finale. If you last more than two cycles, it's worth it to remove cards, and this deck is going to be more like... I mean, to beat, to beat the Collector, we have to play Finale four or five times. So that's an easy card remove for me. Ah. Not with Wraith Farm, I won't take a footwork. There's no need. Well, aren't you just a fancy pants Mr. Knight? Sir. Person, man, individual. Take two on purpose here? You know what? I like it that way. Hit you instead. Put nine into the raw pile, yeah. 
Wait, but that blocks then. Mm -hmm. Made a mistake. But it worked out. Just need this expertise to draw four. Which means I gotta play with three other cards in hand. It currently draws one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Strength potion, gaining two strength when we want it, and not a chance of adding any of these cards. All right, upgrade the Wraith form. That gives us the very important third turn of intangibility. And now the real test. Can we land the finale in the fights where it really matters? Let's see, if I backflip, I'll have eight cards in hand, eight in the draw pile. Gamble would draw for... Hmm. I already see a really good way to do this. As long as Finale is not in the top two cards. It's not. So. What do you do here? That is the question. Got a starter handful of cards. Calculated Gamble would draw seven cards. There are eight in the draw pile. However, a couple people in the chat spot it. What if we just make a ninth card in our hand with the attack potion and then just discard it? Then, finale. And we can do the same thing with this Cunning Potion. We can actually use this as draw three with the uh, with the Calculated Gamble. That's pretty cool. Paper Crane, a ridiculous source of power. Full block. Enemies deal 40% less damage rather than 25% less when weakened. Returns were not intangible. That could be a big deal. Strike Gamble Prepared would work, That, as long as the Prepared wasn't in the bottom two cards. However, if Prepared ends up in the bottom two, you whiff the finale in that situation. Because you draw seven cards, but Prepared is not one of them. So that would have been an 80-90% chance of success, but not 100%. The shop is happening, unfortunately. I guess I could route away save the removal for later, and uh, take the money from Maw Bank. That would be one less removal now, probably one more removal later. I can still fight the Burning Elite, right? Yeah, yeah, I have to. Smiling Mask Minus. But we do have to fight Collector with one more starter card if we do that. The good news is we'll also get an extra upgrade. And cost me a relic later. Nah, you're right. We should just take the sapphire key and go to the shop as intended. That's a chonky gremlin. All right, for the chance of immediate finale, we want to expertise to get a total of six cards in the draw pile and then gamble first the six cards we'll have. So I need expertise to draw four. Currently draws one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Didn't hit finale, so calculated gamble makes us land the finale. Get him. Eleven in the draw pile. Maybe should have made it an even ten there. Played backflip, but before I played the uh, masterful stab, is now. I actually can't expertise to draw one card, so we never... Actually, yes, I can. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes, I can. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. 
And we're going to. Amazing. Okay, so here's the other weird thing we can do with potions. Expertise. Draw cards until you have seven in hand. If I play it right now, we draw three cards. That's too many. Instead, let's have more cards in our hand so that we draw less cards, which is actually more. What is happening? Strike dummy! Cards containing the text strike deal more damage. Sure, whatever. Concentrate. Hmm. Concentrate expertise is interesting, but not actually sure it's currently helpful. It does add another card that we have to draw through. And we don't have enough positive draw for it to be helpful currently. Definitely doesn't create an infinite or anything like that. Okay, I'm going to skip all these. I'm going to keep going this way. And that is the dumbest use for a uh, shiv potion I've ever had. That's definitely true. Gimble all of it. Put the finale back into the draw pile. Oh, and back into the discard pile. Oh, well. Let's bring this thing below 60 combined health anyway. We got these strike steel nine. Finale, you're in the wrong spot yet again. Hmm. Next turn looks like it could hurt a bit. Especially since I'm not allowed to play Wraith Form either. Hmm. Keep jambling. Take a little damage on purpose here. Actually sounds like a good idea. Get us some more card draw. Guaranteed to get finale in the bottom five, though. Instead, hmm. yep, that still doesn't work, huh? We definitely need retain to make this a bit more consistent. Very awkward. Thankfully, Strike Dummy's putting in real work here. Okay, and we finally landed it, too. Good. But if at first you don't succeed, try, try... We got another one. Try, try again. Because we're able to cycle through the deck so quickly, even if we can't always draw the finale appropriately, uh, we get multiple attempts, which is pretty good. I think I would take an after image, but I'm not going to take a thousand cuts. Yeah, having a draw one would help. I don't think dagger throw is the right draw one, though. I'd much rather have something like a finesse or flash of steel. Don't draw finale here. I do, unfortunately. Hmm. Let me send a wraith for him. Let's do that. Seven. No, 
what, we just want to draw two off the gamble? I think so. Just two. Okay. This would draw me six cards currently. I can do the same shenanigans with the Cunning Potion as before, or I can simply let my next turn be play the Grand Finale. That's not that much of a turn, though. All right, let's do this again. I want it to draw fives. So we play it with one shiv in hand. And that's just a kill next turn. Cool. Run finale! Now we have an ornamental fan giving us block for playing a bunch of attacks. Definitely helps a little bit here and there. We wanted some more block. Although I prefer block not affected by dexterity. We could add a deflect plus, but I don't think I'm gonna. Alright, let's remove one more card from this deck such that it shrunk even further down. Would a cart-like setup be good for this deck? I... Not really. It would be nice for letting us... put Finale... back into the draw pile. That way I can use the calculated gamble and the... Actually, wait a minute. Hmm. Actually, what about Forth... What about Forethought? Forethought is the opposite of setup. Put a card from our hand to the bottom of the draw pile. It costs zero until played. Oh my god. Is that actually good? I'm on record as calling this perhaps the most useless card in Slay the Spire. I think it might actually be good here. Because we don't have a will aid plans. Yeah, it's draw manipulation. It lets us get the finale where it needs to go. And it also adds one to the draw pile. <laughs> oh my god. And it doesn't exhaust, and it doesn't cost energy like setup does. So it's better than setup because it's free? Ah! I can't believe I've just done this. What is the upgrade? It's even... Oh, that's right. The upgrade's even actually helpful here because the upgrade says put any number of cards to the bottom of your draw pile, giving us further control over how many cards are in hand and how many cards are in the draw pile. Oh my god. It's so dumb. So fun fact, you're not allowed to skip here if you choose one of 20. I would like an acrobatics though. But I might end up adding a card I don't want if I choose the read option. You're not allowed to skip. Fun fact. Although you can glitch out of it, I believe. Reflex would also be very good. Or well aid plans. There it is. Dang it. But I don't need the well aid plans anymore now that I've taken the uh, the forethought. We really don't need the plans. Unfortunately, it is the best option here, huh? Wait, terror! No, 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 it's terror. Give me a terror. I hate that I'm doing this. Absolutely dislike that I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Wait, so this means... <laughs> and now the Wraith Farm's free? <laughs> Do I actually just... It'll still be free next time I see it, too. Yes, perfect timing. I 
I could even put it back again to further defer it. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Draw five. Draw one, two, three. Four, five. Grand finale. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Really wanted the thing to happen. Obviously could have avoided that damage, but... So I know Finale is the bottom card, which means... Gambling. This is so cool. GG. Absolutely GG. Do we dare double the finale? It's going to make it harder to play either of them, but we only have to play them half as often. I like it. Hovering Kite seems like free energy. Honestly, Slaver's Caller also feels like free energy. There is no reason to take the Curse Key here. Um, but yeah, they're basically both free energy. I guess I'll take the Slaver's Caller. That way I don't have to worry about remembering the Hovering Kite. Did you know that you can now support me directly on YouTube by getting a channel membership? For as low as five bucks a month, you'll get access to perks like custom badges and emojis to use in comments and discounts on the merch store, all while helping support me and this channel. Just click the join button below to get started. Now back to the video. Because I really don't think the fourth energy is gonna be relevant in any, the fifth energy is gonna be relevant in any regular fight. All the shops are in a row. How fascinating. Current removal cost is about 125, I want to say. Or is it maybe 150 for the next removal? If it's 150, I'm not going to be able to afford more than one anyway. So we should focus on getting money this act more than hitting shops. Although we do have to hit one. We could go four elites, or no. Yeah, yeah, four elites. We could go four elites, and that'd be pretty sweet, but it's not going to be as sweet as getting two more cards removed. Heartbreaking falling? We have backup finale. I could lose grand finale to falling, and I wouldn't even be mad. I'd just be like, all right, good talk. Last one was 125. Okay, so what we need is a total of um, 150 plus 175 equals 325 gold by the end of by next act. So let's see. I mark a path here. A lot of question marks. Don't worry about that at the moment. Just gotta add up money here. So 15 gold per regular fight, 30 gold per elite. 160, 175, 205, 220, 235, 265, 280. So we need more combats than that. 295. 310. If we get any money from any of the events or from the chest, that allows for two removals. Okay. Did you know that you're immune to thorns? Well, intangible. Very nice. Place one grand finale on the bottom of the draw pile so that we have five cards in the draw pile. I'm continually offended that this is so effective.
Your pot's pretty good. Finisher, not so much. Has Forethought been secretly OP the whole time? That is the question before us today. A terrifying, ominous thought. I'll take one on purpose here. Getting another burn added here. currently. Grand Finale! The enemy will still add burns even if you block the attack, yes. The only way to prevent the burns from being added is to prevent the attack by killing the enemy outright. No other way about it, unfortunately. So something that I'm allowed to do is, like, forethought plus expertise. I think that would actually help me, though. Uh, there are no more draw effects in the draw files, so I just need to draw two cards with expertise, then. Like so. What the heck? way to do this then. Forethought, just one finale. Draw some amount of cards. I'll take damage though. Hmm. Because of those eight left, right? Forethought finale finale, play defend terror. Yeah, that's gonna be the easiest way to do this. Just account for the centennial puzzle. Take the damage. Ooh, max HP, I'll take it. Another backflip. Yeah, I'll take one more. Definitely don't take a curse, but a free upgrade, you better believe it. I don't want to go this way. Right. Good, we got another combat, too. There'll be more money in our pocket. Heck, go, oh, dear lord. Paper crane, though, I think this is okay. Oh, yeah. Super duper okay. Good fight for Wraith Worm. Don't to worry too much about this enemy. actually land a finale. Disquieting idea, I know. Looks pretty good. Fringeer, thank you so much for the 11 months of support. Almost to that full year, Cozy. Worryingly inconsistent at times, I suppose. I 
And Spoon, thanks for five months of support. None of this, please. Onwards. For the elite. First, we do battle with Reptomancer. Definitely a deadly foe here. The wounds that these daggers can add could be a real problem for us if we don't end up with a way to deal with them. Just gonna gamble the whole thing. Not gonna play Wraithform here turn one. Maybe I deeply regret that. We'll see. Currently feels like this is gonna be okay. Please don't. Good. So this just draws one instantly, and we're there. Good. An excellent turn one. But then, disaster. Kind of. Not really that bad, actually. And now I'm just gonna outright win. Whatever. I'll see if Take 10? That's within acceptable parameters for this fight. A couple ways to get there. I'm just gonna forethought one card on top, then I can draw six with backflip, backflip prepared. Could have also used the gamble to get here. Either way, we get a kill, we get a shovel, allowing us to dig for relics at rest sites, and we're offered an acrobatics. Another draw and discard card. Now, notably, an odd number of draw and a discard card, which makes it excellent for inclusion here. Be one off here, but I can use forethought prepared to line this up. Actually, no, of course not the Wraith Worm. Terror finale, finale. <laughs> Good turn one. Ah! Get wrecked. Get destroyed. Alchemize could be interesting. I really don't want to add more cards, though, if they don't draw cards. So we'll pass. We shall pass. All right, let's reevaluate our money real quick. We're at 241. 271, 301. Yeah, we still need more money. Keep taking fights. Please don't curse me. Oh lordy, do not curse me. I said don't. Don't do that. bit of damage here. Hmm. Can't keep blocking conventionally, huh? Guess I'll have to take a little bit of damage here. Could have dupe potted acro, sure. It let me play the finale. It doesn't get me out of the fight, though. Actually, it would have let me play both finales. But it makes me lose the potion. Not as thrilled about that at the moment. Eight cards in the draw pile, you say? So Cut Gamble just lands finale here. A fourth on the Wraith form. You just play that. Cursing me. Be very unhappy. Please don't say draw cards on them. 
Okay, we got money, which means we're definitely going to have enough for two more Carter Ripples. Good. Very good. I'll just Wraith Form here. Try to avoid losing any health at all to these three. All I need to do is finale one time in this fight. That's right, add nothing else. Or basically nothing else. And then good times happen or something. Ten cards. That was good. So I can, hmm. <laughs> I can't pass and draw five, because I'll take one. I can't play the block card, because I'll draw cards. Heck. All right, but if I can calculate a gamble for one, that's how we get there. Huzzah! Deck is ridiculous. A second calculated gamble, unupgraded. I'll give it a try. That seems like it'll fit. Treble immediately to the boss. Missing a red key. Can't do that. And now Giant Head. Becomes Giant Dead. because we have Forethought. Just put those back on top of the draw pile, play Defend, play Terror, and laugh. Aha! I am so clever. And round and round we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. value, then this does 198. GG, sir. We get the incense burner, giving us intangible every sixth turn. That's going to augment our wraith form in the fights that truly matter. We could take a tactician here as a way to generate more energy. Which might let me draw more cards. But it's also another card we have to draw through. I'd much rather have a reflex than a tactician. No, I don't think this is right. Could be a reflex in here. Sundial could give us more energy, although again, energy. Who needs energy? We're here for the card removes, baby. Get him. Tough bandages also would have been totally acceptable. Eviscerate, though? Eviscerate does less damage than Grand Finale, so I don't want to draw an Eviscerate when I could just play Grand Finale instead. No way, no how. Perfect. Put that on the bottom. Some two, buddy.
So. thought the finale onto the bottom won't actually be able to draw into it, so we just forethought all three of these cards. Draw them next turn. Forethought has been really cool. Really appreciate a swift potion. I don't think we want a third calculated gamble. I might just upgrade the unupgraded one, but I'm, I'm not even sure I want two of them, actually, having played with the uh, the second one now. Got a recall here. We're not allowed to dig or upgrade. We must get all three keys so we can go to Act 4. And I am really looking forward to seeing how we perform in these boss fights. I think it's going to be a good time. Perfection. I'll just use the Wraithworm now, so I can stop drawing it. Since we did half their health on turn one, after all. Draw four, leave it at nine. No, it's only three. Leave it at ten. Perfect. Doesn't get any better than that. We go for Deca first, because the dazed are a problem. Grand finale. Grand herb finale. Hopefully we're just going to KO them all. Geners. Finale to, to death. We've even got our incense burner back around to a reasonable number. If possible, we'd like to win this fight with incense burner. Um, set to oh boy, it's time eater. We'd like to win this fight with incense burner set to uh, four, maybe five, but it might not matter that much. Can play in some uh, wreath form right now, actually. I 
Eh, no, we shouldn't do that yet. We should just block, even if it is boring. Cool. Draw five puts four in the draw pile. Just forethought, acrobatics, and nothing else. We get to Terror Finale. We only get to play two more cards because of the uh, per turn restriction here. I think I'm going to put Wraith Form on the bottom rather than playing this Masterful Stab. Take that free for later. Right, because I want to be intangible next turn, probably. Expertise cannot draw all the cards I needed to. It draws three. Since time meter is below half health, we actually don't need to be intangible. Might even be able to kill time meter next turn if our cards get played correctly here. Mm. No, not with what I've just done. I have to play Wraith Worm and be intangible. That might let me get a kill though. Maybe 90. Be difficult to do, but not impossible. Also weak. Hmm. Two, draw, two, draw, two, finale, finale. Of course, then Incense Burner's not on the right number. Hmm. I think that's okay as well. Well, that was ridiculous. To thump, to thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all these finales? Ready your daggers and proceed into Act 4. We could upgrade Acrobatics here. We could upgrade Calculated Gamble. Or we could dig up a Relic. I'm thinking that probably upgrading Acrobatics is our best bet. Get us one more card. Although that does again take away our odd number of card draw. I think with Forethought that's not a problem. If we want to play more finales, it's going to be acrobatics here. I'm going to do that. Can't believe Forethought is working so well. What is happening? There's another one. No, I'm not going to buy two. We're just going to remove one last card. Let's get rid of one more defend here. Full health, by the way. No problem. We've had first Forethought, yes, but what about five thought? Upgraded acro. Show us what you have. Probably just play the wraith form this turn. Oh, but Campbell. Twelve cards in the draw pile this way. I think 
that's fine. Okay, if I gamble now, I get to play this finale and the expertise. By acrobatics, I might be able to play both finales using the expertise. But if expertise is on the bottom, I won't be able to play anything. I think I'd rather just gamble, guaranteed land one, and then redraw anew here. Gambling. No. Unacceptable. Dang. There you are, Forethought. My childs. Cards and draw. I wanted to make that nine, but I can at the minimum use the Swift Potion next turn to win. So we should do more damage to shield here. Oh, but we've also got two here. Actually, this might work out perfectly. Yeah, that does work out perfectly. It's totally on purpose, I assure you. Uh, one is an acceptable number, actually. One is better than two. We'll probably be duping Wraithform in the heart anyway. Yeah. Completely okay with that. Mummified hand. Whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero. You know, that's actually pretty dang helpful. <laughs> For this particular fight. Caltrops adds a significant amount to our damage output potential. We only have to play it one time, it makes another card free. That's... Perfect. I highly recommend taking Caltrops right before heart is silence. This is going to be a beautiful, perfect, flawless run. We could even dupe it if we really wanted to. I don't think we're going to be doing that. All right, you'll never be free again, sir. Well played. Thanks for participating. Okay, we could simply dupe the Wraith Form right now. Let's see what some of our other options are here. Hmm. That would definitely make life nice and simple. Mostly gonna draw statuses next turn. I almost like health gamble right now. I should probably do that. Nine cards is gonna be fourteen cards. 
put acrobatics on the bottom? Is that helpful? It'll be a free acrobatics, but on the bottom... Eh. Actually, both gambles, or uh, both finales here. I don't really want to... Let's see, there's a chance we draw a backflip. Okay, let's go for it with the swift plot here. I don't want to gamble away the void in the days. We want them to exhaust so I don't have to draw them anymore. No dice on the backflip, unfortunately. Won't be able to play more cards anyway. Yeah, we just let this all go. It's a bit of a sad turn. And that's why we enlisted the aid of the Keltrops, I suppose. This is already zero block, huh? Uh oh. Heat of Death is going to start taking its uh, punishment on us. Spooky, especially with uh, us taking 15 hits off these multi hits. Don't worry about the masterful stab. Here? Okay. 25 cost masterful stab. Have you ever seen such a beautiful thing? Cost masterful stab. <laughs> oh, there's one for the <laughs> there's one for the YouTube thumbnail. Oh man. I think it's still gonna get overridden anyway, right? Let's see, I want forethought to draw. Four? Or expertise to draw four? No, I want expertise to draw four. Let's see if this even works. Still says zero cost. This actually works? Are you kidding me? There's death staring us in the face, but here's our ultimate finisher card, Masterful Stab. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.